Welcome to the shop. I've got uh, I finished restoring the table saw over the past couple weeks, and uh, <clears throat> I have uh, experiencing some issues electrically with it. Uh, the saw has been uh, really bogging down whenever I'm making a cut, even through just uh, three quarter inch cherry. Uh, it starts a little slow. Um, the switch doesn't really work, uh, but. Other than that, I've had some uh, just uh, minor issues electrically. Uh, I can't figure out why. If uh, you guys can help me, that'd be uh, a real pleasure to help me. Uh, everything runs smoothly. I've got a zero clearance insert. I used the fence off of my old saw, uh, off of my old Delta contractor. Um, I did figure out the make and model. This is a Jet CTAS-10. Cabinet saw, 3 horsepower, 220 volt, single phase, uh, fit around, runs around 15 amps on the, uh, electrically. But other than that, uh, I've had so just some minor issues with uh, electrically. You guys can help me out. Alright, so the first problem is the switch. Uh, this is a switch a neighbor of ours gave us. It is uh, one of the where you ratchet the stop sign to, or the stop to make it run and it does not want to start the saw. Now the saw does have a magnetic starter that came with it. I believe it is factory and no one installed it. But this is what the saw does whenever you hit, you start it. Now the saw, there's nothing with wrong with the pulleys or belts or anything. They, uh, I've tightened all the belts on it. it and even if I tighten the belts too much, it won't even start. You just uh, it like you just see the blade jerk, and that's all it does. Uh, but that's what it does with the actual switch. Now I believe that sound is coming from the magnetic starter in the back of the saw, and not the motor. Uh, at least that's what it sounds like to me. All right, now this is the starter. I've got the uh, cover taken off with the wiring diagram which I believe is correct but I'm not sure on that and don't quote me on that I'm still trying to understand what some of these letters mean or if they're just letters that have uh, been attached to the wires so this is what the saw sounds like uh, with just a switch again nothing now I'm gonna leave the switch uh, on and I'm actually going to hit, there's a little button right here that will start the saw. Alright, now that's the saw running. Now, I'm going to also run a board through it, but the uh, switch... I mean, it seems to start fine. I don't really have anything to compare it to for a saw of this size and this age. Um, I wish... Uh, it seems to start fine. Uh, maybe it's a little slower than what uh, I'm used to, what I've seen others use. Okay, I'm going to run a board next. Uh, this is a piece of three-quarter inch cherry. This is why uh, cherries are fairly soft wood for anybody that doesn't know, and uh, it's only three quarters of an inch thick, and it'll just go through. Alright, so that's what the saw usually does whenever I uh, go to run a board through it. I don't know if you can see the cut, but uh, right where it was about to slow down, you saw there was just a little bit of burning. It's a good, nice little saw. It's nice and heavy, probably weighs 400 pounds at least. And that's just with me moving it around. Um, you notice the uh, saw blade severely slowed down in it. I don't know if that is the motor, the arbor, 
I've tightened the belts. Uh, I don't know if that's capacitors. Is that the starter in the back? Is that the switch up front? I, I know it is not the line coming out here. This saw is currently running on a 30 amp 220 line that's hardwired into the workshop. There's no other... I don't think it's outside of this. I, I, I've run a 5 horse motor, my planer, 5 horse power planer off of the same circuit and it, it doesn't even notice an eighth of an inch being taken off of a 5 inch board. Alright, now I'm going to do a video shot of the inside of the saw running. These are the belts. Uh, it's a three belt drive, half inch. I think it's half inch 28 is the uh, length and width of the belts. They're V-belts. Okay, so here is the saw running. Okay, so there it was with a board being run through it. I don't think the belts are slipping, but I also haven't looked at it on camera. You can just see the dust in the air just looking at it on the screen there. Wow. Well, that's the saw running. I don't know what else to do about it. I don't know, should I buy a new starter, a magnetic starter? I don't really want to have to repower the saw. I mean, it's three horsepower. It's going to be a couple hundred bucks just to repower it. I only have two hundred into it, but I mean, it's or two two fifty into it. It's not a not a bad deal if I do have to repower it. It's not going to be a three horsepower if I do. It's definitely going to be five. You never have enough power. Um, if anyone could please help me with this uh, ordeal, that'd be great. I I don't know what else to do. I will be doing, once I actually finish, finish it with electrical lock knobs. I actually had a couple buddies of mine machine me uh, new spindles for the lock knobs. Uh, I was missing one, so I'm like, hey, just machine me two more. Um, a mount for the switch. I'm not too fond of putting any more into the saw until I get it finished, finished. Um, I still have my contractor one, but unfortunately, I took the fence off of that one, put it on this one, repainted it, and aligned it to this one. So I don't really want to put it back on my last one. So if anyone can just help me with uh, the with this problem, would be great. Shoot me a message on YouTube, leave a comment, whatever. Uh, I think this is the first time you guys see my face. Hello all. So just uh, please leave a comment. Thank you for subscribing and uh, have a good one.